lot of folks ask about the amount of water you need to run a system. And uh, the answer is kind of a complicated one in a lot of ways and kind of a simple one in a lot of others. So people will talk about rules of thumb, how many gallons of water you need to have for plants or how many fish per gallons of water. The reality is this, you, you need enough water uh, that your fish are uncrowded, that they can essentially you know, be moving freely in their tanks and they're not making so much waste that you know you, the system can't process it fast enough. You need enough plants that you're taking a lot of nutrient out of the water. So uh, it really will just depend on the amount of plants you want to grow. In our system here, we're 4,000 gallons of water, and that's running. Uh, that will be running about 550 towers uh, when it's all said and done, or essentially, you know. 5,000 some plants will be running off of 4,000 gallons uh, with about 500 pounds of fish in it. So for us, uh, the big thing is just having a, you know, enough water that we can continue to top it off, but less, you know, less water than most systems, and just essentially having our water quantity right at that point where we can feed heavily and bump up our ammonia or we can feed really heavily and essentially dump a lot of nutrients into our water at once. So our system is much more, I, I guess, uh, front loaded. It's much more uh, weighted towards the plants and the bacteria as opposed to the water. So we run a lot, lot less water than most people would in this situation. Uh, but then we're not doing raft production or, or uh, most of the traditional forms of uh, production. And what that does for us is it allows us to really get a lot of nutrition into our water really quickly if we want. And it also allows us to manage the quality of that water, the pH, the temperature, all of the above, uh, very closely because there's not as much to, to change there. When you've got a lot of water, you've got a lot of thermal mass, you have kind of this, um, this large quantity of water that the nutrients are very dilute in. Um, so the issues with lots of water in a system like a raft system is that it takes a long time to change those variables. Um, essentially, it, it, it can take you a week to several weeks to really dramatically change the nutrient dynamics and makeup of your solution. And it can also take quite a bit of time to change the temperature. Um, that's one thing that, that uh, is little known about raft production is that it really started in the tropics. It was a means to, to even out the temperatures. Um, in the, in the nutrient solution. So it was basically designed to have a lot of thermal mass. That's really nice when you're worried about 100 degree heat, heating your water up to the point where pathogens become an issue or plant roots are, are killed by the water temperature. But in most scenarios, going with less water that you can control more tightly is a much better way to go. The mass, and that ends up allowing us to grow a lot more per square foot. It lets us just basically suck every last photon out of our light. Um, so that's, for us, that's one of the benefits of growing vertically. Another one is that we can move really easily 